My next guests are the breakout stars in the hit ABC family drama, A Million Little Things, a show that focuses on friendship and the million little things that connect us. I'm gonna be gone all day. I'm fine. Hey, Catherine! I thought he was doing okay. Look, I know that he's your friend and you wanna help him. I just can't be a part of it. I don't know how much longer I can keep putting on a happy face for everyone. What happened to you sucks. You're gonna keep fighting and you're gonna stay in the damn game. We'll do this for you. The series follows a group of friends experiencing loss and the struggles that followed. Please welcome David Gentoli and James Rode Rodriguez. David plays Eddie, a recovering alcoholic father, and James plays the lovable Gary. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you for Thanks having for having us. Absolutely. You know, I, I got to tell you, as I said, the, the theme of our show today is that the connection that we have. David and James, I know each series um, brings, I think, something unique to the audience. For me, it's the way you approach the journey, especially from a man's perspective, David. Oh, yeah. This show, uh, one of the things that really kind of um, drew me to it was the focus on these friendships from a male perspective. Mm. I think a lot of times guy friends um, are taught how to drink beers next to each other, um, kind of razz each other, but never kind of go deep in a way that might seem too vulnerable. And this show leans into the vulnerability. We uh, kind of fold in on each other and support each other constantly, um, this group of guy friends. And it's uh, really just a joy to be a part of. Well, the series itself follows, to your point, a group of friends experiencing loss and the struggles that happen in the life of each one of them. David, you play Eddie. I'm a recovering alcoholic father. James, you're the lovable Gary. I mean, that's a, that's a big responsibility. When the lovable is described as your character, that means a connection with the audience instantly. Yeah, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, Tamron. <laughs> I know. And that's why that's why I threw this beard, uh, so that I had an extra layer of armor to hide an behind. An extra layer of lovable to hide behind. Extra layer of lovable armor, yeah. Um, I would I would echo everything that that David already said about uh, the show and and our attempt to sort of portray truth and authenticity, and I and I hope that that's what people respond to. Um, I hope it helps them feel seen. Mm -hmm. I think. I think the work that David is doing this season can only be categorized as brave, um, you know. And 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 he appreciates you calling him a brave. I, I wish you could see his reaction to what you are saying right now. This is the only disconnect with Zoom. You are not in the same room. I'm not in with you. I wish you could see his expression right now. But I do want to play a clip, James. In season one, your character Gary fought breast cancer. All right, ball in. Look, I don't want to make a big deal out of this, but I just found out I have breast cancer. <laughs> breast cancer? Uh -huh. <laughs> I told you the power bars were just for women. Dude, the only thing worse than that excuse is your defense. Yeah, yeah and your offense, my friend. I'm going to go with the shorts. I like the shorts. Hey, you going to lean on me all day? <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you serious? This is a unique perspective, I believe, that we don't often see enough male relationship, the bonding of friendship from that perspective. And now your character last season with something, again, we don't talk about that openly. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that was certainly one of the things that drew me to the show was uh, the opportunity to play uh, a man uh, struggling with breast cancer and to show that journey through a lens that we're not as familiar with. Um, that is my head, twice its normal size. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, you know, <laughs> the, the truth is that while breast cancer uh, does not affect nearly as many uh, men as women, um, they are out there and their journeys are very real. And a lot of them uh, feel a lack of inclusivity and, and feel somewhat ostracized and are kind of looking for, for their tribe and their community to help them through it. And and I, I definitely gravitated towards that element of the script, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we're doing it. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of that. Before I let you go, James, you made headlines over the summer, adding Rodriguez back to your name, your surname. What, what was behind that decision, and, and what inspired that? <sighs> uh, well, you know, we've, we've had a hell of a year. I think that's fair to say. And 
you know, I was one of the, the privileged uh, few who was able to just quarantine and stay safe. And I wanted that time to be as constructive as possible. So as we were watching these giant spotlights shined on uh, social injustice all over our country, I, I started doing a lot of reading. I started talking to my father. I heard stories about uh, my family's, the Mexican side of my family's journey to this country, uh, things that my grandparents had gone through when they were children. And what I realized was that a, a business decision that I made about, you know, 20 years ago just didn't hold water anymore. Mm. And it was time to, uh, you know, reclaim the name and, and give my father an opportunity to see uh, his name on my work. Oh. It was something that was overdue, but uh, better late than never. Well, I think that's beautiful. I think a lot of us are reflecting on many parts of our lives and our journey and what matters most. I see you have your Christmas tree up. I appreciate that. As someone who has put her tree up already, I shout out that as well. Festive, festive times, Noel, Nog, all the things, everybody come together. All right, well, we'll wait for your Dallas Cowboy ornament to come in the mail. I'll be sending it. It's oh. coming FedEx. Yes, thank you, sir. James, David, <laughs> thank you both for your time. Congratulations again on the baby, and congrats on the show. It's a beautiful show. Thanks, Amber. Oh, thank Absolutely. You so much.